Hello and today we're going to be looking at creating charts in Google Sheets. So I've got my data sheet here with some dummy data. So what I need to do is select the data that I want to create the chart with and then if I go into the insert menu and there's an option for charts. I'm just going to click that here. So first of all I just want to explain to you the areas of the chart. So across the top here we've got the title, then we've got the legend, we've got the y-axis are going vertically and the x-axis going horizontally. We've got some grid lines here and then obviously we've got the bars for our data. Down here we've got the axis name. Other options you just got here is the three dots which is for more and so we're going to that in a moment. When you do click on the three dots one of the options you do have is to edit the chart and that will bring up this box. I'm just going to close that for the moment just to show you how to open it again. So if I do click edit the chart this comes up the other way is just to double click on the chart and this will also bring up this box. So the first thing we're going to look at on this side is the chart editor and the setup of this. So first of all we've got our chart type. So whenever you create a chart it will always suggest a chart for you. So in this case it suggested a column chart. I can go into here, there's a bar chart suggested, but I've got other options here as well that I can choose. So a range of different options for the different types of chart that you want. If I'm going to stick with a column chart for this, I also get the option here for stacking, which is part of column and bar charts. If I click on stacking, I'll just show you what this looks like. So the bars then stack on top of each other. I can stack to 100% as well. Now for this type of data, I probably wouldn't want it stacked, so I'll click that as none. And to be honest, for this type of data, it's probably better as a line chart. Going down after this, we've got our data range. So at the moment, you can see it's picked up. A1 to D12. So that's the data here. If I want to change that, I can click on here. So I could actually say, actually, I just want to C12. And so it removes some of that data. And or additionally, I could add another range in as well. So I'm just going to undo that so I can add my data back in. Okay, after this, we've got our exit axis title. So we, currently it's student names, so that's picking this up from the cell A1. If I click on here, I can remove this or I can add a label. So I can change that if I want. I can also choose options here for series, but I wouldn't worry about this for now, it's more advanced. Um, I can switch these round. So if I want the exams at the bottom, instead of the names of the students, I can see this. So I can see the different uh, levels people took for the exams. So let's change that back. And this is also where it picks up what's using as the header. So using row one, so that's this across here, is row one, using column A, which is this column here, for the labels. So that's where these things are being picked up from. So once I've done with my setup, I can go into customize to change how the chart looks. So the first option I get here is chart style. So again, you've got options to do with colors, so background color, chart borders, fonts. Um, I can maximize it. So that's making it full screen. I can make it 3D if I want to, add a bit of dimension to it. Or you've got compare mode, and I'm not too sure what that does, to be honest. After this, you've got the charts and axes. So again, you can uh, pick up the titles, you can add subtitles, things like that. I can also change the title of the actual chart itself. So I could change this to student exams. Again, changing fonts and things like that if I want to. I think got my series option, so I'm choosing whether things are going to the left axis. So at the moment they're going here. I could change that over to the right axis if I wanted to. Um, if I had multiple axes, I could uh, change this. So I could say, actually, I want exam two, and I want that on the right axis. So now it's made it a multiple axis chart. Here again, I can put in error bars if I want to data labels, so they can come up here. It turns those off. The other option I get here is for a trend line. If I want the trend line there, I can then choose which type of trend line I want, the colors, again, and fonts, those kind of things. So I'm going to turn all that off to declutter my chart. Next option we have is legend. Now with the legend, you can move this around manually, but I'd recommend just using this. So if I want my legend at the bottom, I can move that there. Again, font, color, things there. Axis title, so again we've got axis title, font color, and also where we want it to appear. 
So at the moment on the horizontal axis they're there but I could say I want them slanted at 60 degrees. Obviously sometimes if you've got particularly long axis titles you might want 90 degrees but do check that, that they read properly as well there. I can also change the order of my charts here so you can see that flipping around in the order. And then the vertical axis again similar things I can choose the font size color all those kind of things the scale so I can have change the scales there have it as logarithmic or I can change the data format as well so obviously these are percentages and that's picking up from the data and lastly here we got the grid lines so at the moment the grid lines are on the vertical axis I can change how often I want these grid lines so at the moment they're every 25 and that's an auto so I could change this to 10 so you can see it's changed there I could also change the colors and also I can add minor grid lines in as well so that one's on 10 so I could say actually I want minor grid lines as well for every five once you have the chart you can obviously see now it's kind of over my data so that doesn't really help me I can just drag this and you see the little hand icon moving that around when you've got the chart selected you've got these blue squares around the chart so I can then move these to resize to make that fit on my page a bit better however I might want that if I do want to I can also move this to its own sheet if I click the three dots I can click move to own sheet and then it takes it into its own sheet there and I can rename this I'm going to double click on there and I'm going to change that to exams as you see it's slightly different here but you now get all the options across the top and again if I double click on that it then brings up my chart editor again so I can look at that the last thing I want to show you is the publish chart option because this is if you want to share the chart so this is the same option previously when I had it on my sheet was the dots I could publish the chart and when I'm publishing the chart I can choose obviously which chart I want to publish so I'm going to do student exams I can share it as an interactive chart or an image and then I can just click publish so when I do this I then get a link so that I can share that link with people so obviously in normal ways I can just send them an email or message to share that link with them so that's a way of just sharing that chart with somebody without sharing the whole sheet if I'm done with that I can actually then click stop publishing and that will remove that from being published so I hope this has given you a good introduction to charts and now enables you to create them for yourself.